Hello everyone and welcome to the FEM video manual where we show you everything you need to know to use FEM once you've got it set up. If you still need help setting it up, please do check out our quick start video which should cover everything you need to know to get going. But assuming you're that far, let's get started. First off, of course, we have the emulation screen itself. This is uh, what looks like a Palm Pilot and in fact is. We have the graffiti area down here which lets you fire off all the things that you ordinarily would with a Palm Pilot. You have the touch screen itself, which does precisely what you would uh, expect it to. Um, on a small screen, you might consider getting a stylus, but for a tablet or something like that, you can certainly use your fingers to operate the Palm. Um, in any case, you can see all the usual suspects from a Palm Pilot perspective and it responds exactly the way you would expect. You can even do graffiti on the graffiti area and you will get letters. It's much quicker if you're not using a mouse to you use your fingers. In any case, that is pretty straightforward as long as you know how to use a Palm Pilot. Now down here we have the button bar which emulates the hardware buttons that all the Palm Pilots had, the date book, contact list, to-do list, and memo pad. We also have the scroll buttons, which do exactly what you might expect. And that's pretty much all you need to know about them. So now you have pretty much what you would have with any other Palm Pilot, but we also have the power button, which does exactly what you would expect. And now we get to start getting into the more fun specific stuff. This is the session menu, where you can create a new session, um, load pre-existing sessions, save sessions. For example, we'll save this one. We already have. We hit save. And we already have one by that name, because FEM, when you're saving, helpfully suggests the name of the device and the date. Uh, we don't just back out of there. You can also load previous sessions. For example, I have a uh, TRG Pro session here, which I'm loading up. And there we go. And, of course, you can create a new one. How about we do... Eh, we'll do this visor for now. That's one of the first rounds that comes up. You can pick any others. Eh, what the heck, we'll pick this one, say. Actually, wait. No, nope. this one's good. This one only supports one particular kind of device. It supports a couple different levels of RAM, but there's really no reason not to use the Max. If your phone can't spare 8 megs of RAM for the uh, Palm Pilot, then you may not be ready to run FEM. And you can see it starts up exactly the way you would expect a handspring visor to start up. And ready to roll. Now in the quick start I covered skins, that's why this one looks so much more like a Palm Pilot than the other one, but you will note that you have less usable screen area for the actual touch screen, so um, skins are really only useful on a tablet. Now we also have the power buttons and the buttons on the skin here, which do exactly what uh, we, um, you know, exactly what the button bar does down here. Why bother with the button bar? Well, these buttons can't be touched more than once. This area of the screen doesn't support multi-touch. Down here, you can, in fact, press more than one button at a time. Some Palm games require that. And besides which, they, um, there's a second here. There we go. And uh, besides which, not all the skins have these buttons, so we wanted to make sure that they were available. So. That pretty much covers sessions here. Let's. I like the M505 better. It's got color, and again, you get a bigger screen. There we go. So let's move on to the next one, which, as you might expect, is to install software onto the Palm Pilot. Now I have placed in a particular directory on my on my phone here a. Uh, App, apps directory full of Palm software. Let's pick a cute little game called Space Trader. Now, we install it. This will take a little while. I'm technically running this on an Android emulator, so 
takes a little longer. It's usually much quicker on a real device, but we'll let this finish up. While we're at it, I can point out that it's going to fire up the uh, hot sink app when we come back. There we go. But you don't actually need to fire off a hot sink. Uh, it's already been taken care of. And now when we go back to the launcher screen and scroll down, there is the game Space Trader. And we can fire it up. And it starts up for the first time. You can set your character, choose your skills. I tend to max out fighting and trading and hire, or excuse me, piloting and trading and tend to hire out for mercenaries on uh, the other stuff. And here we are playing Space Trader. But let's move on. We also have the reset menu. Um, most of the time you shouldn't have to mess with this. If you, the FEM does support hacks and so forth for, you know, through Palm software, which actually tweak the operating system. And in that case, you might need to reset once in a while. Soft reset is just the same as sticking a uh, paper clip up the back of the palm and giving it a goose, and that causes it to reboot. Um, the no extension reset is a little bit like Windows Safe Mode. It skips some extensions and loads up in a simpler fashion. And then there's the hard reset, which factory resets the uh, palm to erases all data. Now, you really shouldn't need to do this much because if you really want a fresh palm, you can always just create a new session, just like that. But here, we'll go ahead and hit the reset button on this, and the palm will reboot and come up as it should. And there we go. Now, what other menus do we have? We have the card emulation menu. Now, this only shows up if the ROM you're running supports card storage, and this allows us, once we install a support library into the Palm, it takes care of installing and rebooting the Palm for you. Once we take care of that, um, we can now support a memory card on the Palm Pilot. And we hit mounted, done, and there's not really anything in our emulated memory card at the moment, but we now have a memory card. And if you can go in your Android File Manager, load files into there, and it will show up just as if you'd stuck an SD card or whatever into a Palm Pilot. Finally, there's some advanced settings, which, generally speaking, you don't have to mess with, but they're available. High resolution skins should probably be picked on anything but older and slower devices. It looks a little nicer, um, but it does move a little more data around. If you're running, if you're rocking an original droid or something like that, which I have run FEM on, um, unchecking this can give you a bit of a speed boost. Um, enable sound and enable network is pretty straightforward. The um, FEM can uh, allow you to hear all the sounds that the palms were able to make and even let you get out on the network without having to plug in a serial cable and a modem and so forth using your uh, device's network connection. But if you don't want the Palm to be able to speak to the internet, you can disable it. Now, the uh, touch screen that the Palms used and the touch screen that Androids use are very different technologies. And this um, essentially smooths out the events a bit so the Palm doesn't get too many events at once. Um, you really shouldn't need to mess with this, but if you find, uh, so, you know, if you find that uh, it isn't as responsive as you'd like, you can give it a try. And finally, there's the refresh rate for the screen. You can pick how fast uh, you want the screen to update. And uh, um, 15 frames per second is about all the Palm ever did, so uh, you don't really need to uh, mess with it usually, but you can if you like. Um, finally, the last menu item, as you can imagine, is the About box, which also, we'll link you to our website. Um, I won't do it on the uh, emulator here, but uh, it uh, allows you, you, know, you can actually see a full website, including a manual uh, from there. And that's really all you need to know to use FEM. At this point, you have a fully armed and operational Palm Pilot, as many ROMs as you like, um, as many ROMs as you can load, we can use, and uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you very much, and uh, uh, keep an eye out for any other helpful videos we might come up with. Thank you very much.